All right, welcome back to the Nice Fast Channel. It's time for Triple Unbox a Palooza. I don't know. I just came up with that. So say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo. And let's get started with box number one. And box number one comes from my buddy Justin over at White Mountain Knives. This is a knife I wanted to check out. And so, of course, you guys know I'm an affiliate over there. You use my code, Knives Fast, you get 10% off. And then when you use my code, Justin sees that and he gladly lets me check out uh, knives on the channel. So I'm going to unbox this off camera with the Keith the Knife Freak unboxing knife just because the way the label is, uh, you will see it for me to open it. So we're going to do that. There's the unboxing knife. And let's see what we've got. All right. So I think, yes, okay. So this is the LTK result, guys. This is Lee from Let's, uh, uh, shoot, Love Them Knives. Let's Talk Knives. Why was I going to say that? Love Them Knives. Lee is a cool dude. I got to meet him twice at Blade Show. Uh, both Blade Shows I've been to. Really nice guy. Uh, really dig him. And this looks like a design that is right up my alley. So... I am excited. It's a bigger knife. I got the green one. I just told Justin to surprise me. I'm also trying to get Justin. He's going to try to send me a Wee Ziffius. They sold out really, really quick. But he's going to try to send me one of those when he gets them back in stock. So I'm excited for that. So here we go, guys. We got uh, green. Is it green G10 or is it green micarta? I am not sure. I'll have to look that up. But we have... Uh, gray titanium. I love the look of the button. And then you have, <coughs> wow, the LTK pivot there. All right, let me, yeah, there we go. The LTK pivot. It is a flipper and a fuller. Nice, thin, nice flat scales. You got what looks like, I believe these were made by Wii. Um, and I, that looks like a Wii clip to me. Um, and then you have a titanium backspacer. Uh, the clip comes over the top, guys. You see it's reversible left and right all the way deep. Very awesome. All right, let's give it. You do have uh, some jimping and some jimping on the handle as well on the titanium. Ooh, okay. All right, and I love this drop point blade. Let's see. Can I flick it? Oh, man. Yes, I can. You just, uh, the, the fuller's a little, the slot or fuller or whatever you want to call it is a little thin. Uh, so you kind of got to get dug. Oh yeah, now I got it. Okay. Very cool. But yeah, you can see this is a nice fidgety button lock. Great action. Good detent. Yeah. Okay. Very, very nicely done. Let's see. Four finger knife for sure. Nice. Uh, not really a choke up knife, it doesn't look like, but very, very nice. So uh, I'm going to move this out of the way and I'm going to put that knife right there. And thank you, Justin, again from White Mountain Knives for sending that one. All right, the second one uh, is a knife. Okay, you guys know our buddy. This is the package here. You guys know our buddy, uh, Rusty Knife Lover. Now, uh, Rusty's an awesome dude. Shoot, come on, KC. All right, there we go. Uh, Rusty's an awesome dude, and he, this is a package that comes from Scott Big Boar Williams. If you don't follow Scott, go check him out. And uh, he and Rusty are buddies, and uh, well, this is taped inside here as well. Uh, and he had one of Rusty's knives, and Rusty asked him to send it to me. And I'm actually, I saw this at Blade Show this past year, and I've been very excited to check it out. And I just haven't gotten to, so I am very, very excited for that. I'm trying to keep everything from becoming a giant mess here. Okay, uh, so this is a Benchmade, and this is the Tagged Out. So finally, I'm getting to check out a Tagged Out. Come on, focus. There we go, Tagged Out. And the uh, 15535 and CPM 154 manual opening, of course. And this one is orange. So the way I remember this is that it's a cross uh, sort of between the bug out and some of the hunting knives like uh, the Crooked River. Um, and it's pretty light, but not like stupid light. And it is big. And more than that, it is a fantastic flicker, guys. This, 
uh, has really nice, whoa, really nice action for such a light knife. This is more of a blade style than I, this is kind of what I prefer. I love this blade style. Nice big handle. Uh, got a little turn to the handle. Got some um, contouring. Again, it's FRN, of course. Really nice contouring. I just think this is a refined, uh, larger, much better bug out. Uh, that's kind of, wow, I was flicking it fine a minute ago. It's this whole reaching around the camera, guys. You guys don't realize how hard this is. Wow. I just flicked the snot out of it. What am I doing? All right, thumb. All right, we're warmed up now. You ready? Okay, there we go. All right, very cool, awesome, awesome. You have a stone wash finish, CPM 154, a very high grind, flat grind. Uh, you have axis style lock, uh, very nice. It's a good roller too, but I love the handle shape. This is this is my jam, and man, I want you guys. If you want a hunt knife, uh, this is your hunt knife. You're not going to lose that in the leaves. It is dead thin, and I bet this is going to be very slicey so there are there's number two and then the third one comes from artisan cutlery you guys know i'm an affiliate over there now uh, i leave the links in in my videos to uh, artisan uh, usually and a bunch of you guys i have to thank you a bunch of you guys used uh my link to buy uh the knife you're about to see so this is the cjrb uh, AC4, oh, see, we're going to do this focus fight again. There we go. AC495, and this is the Pyrite Warncliffe. Very, very cool. I am very excited. Now, I have also ordered the original Pyrite in titanium, but I bought that one, and this one was sent to me by Artisan. Um, so that's supposed to be here tomorrow. I've also got, uh, hopefully, a Jack Wolf coming uh, well, tomorrow for me. I don't know when for you guys, but okay, good. And they sent me the black one. All right. So I'm very excited to check this out. You guys know I loved the steel pyrite that I got to see from White Mountain Knives. And now we've got the pyrite Warncliffe. Look at that. Oh, goodness. See, uh, this is going to be a favorite. I already love the pyrite. I was one of the first guys in the community to kind of have a pyrite in. And uh, then it's been everywhere since then. And guys, there's a reason these have been so popular. A ton of you bought these, like I said, on my uh, link. All right, come on. We got to get out here so it'll focus. There we go. All right. So um, a ton of you bought these on my link. But look at that blade shape. Uh, you got a fantastic belly to it. Uh, you know, really slight belly. You've got flat grind and you've got a hole. I am very excited for a pyrite with a hole. Tell you what, I'm going to get a couple of these. I'm going to get the boxes out of here because I think that's part of what's monkeying with the focus here. So we'll just do that. Hopefully that'll help. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this is a great middle finger flicker. I always brag about the pinion being so easy to middle finger this is if you still don't know how to middle finger flick get this knife okay uh now the pirate the original pyrite had thumb studs but this is great now you can choke up here you got a great and again it's steel liners but guys it is not heavy it is not it is a great feeling knife in the hand uh it's a little smaller than a lot of knives i like but look at that four finger grip and again you can choke up a little bit you got jimping up here this is just a fantastic and again i can't wait for my titanium one to come in uh very very excited so what do you guys think uh have you ordered a pyrite yet if you haven't please check the link in the description i'll also put a link uh to the Benchmade if i can find one in stock somewhere if I can't, I'll give it, and then the LTK uh, at White Mountain Knives, because he's the one that sent it to me. Um, yeah, super excited. Look at this. Uh, guys, I am excited by these knives. Uh, these are ones that I am very excited. Now, again, I'm also going to do the comparison of this Warncliffe with the Titanium uh, Pyrite when it comes in. So we'll do that as well, so not just a review. Uh I don't have a bug out, so I can't really do a comparison with that. Uh, but I'll find something. Maybe, you know what would compare with it? Uh, interestingly enough, it's a different 
obviously different blade shape, different style. Let's just do this real quick. All right, we're going to set these over here. And I bet you, uh, the man, yeah, see, very close. Yeah, we'll do a comparison with the Manix 2 Lightweight, guys. Uh, this will be fun. Uh, we'll kind of, again, different knives, of course, different styles, different blade shapes, but similar sizing. And I bet, nah, the Benchmade's lighter. Uh, but we'll, we'll definitely... Uh, we'll definitely do a comparison of those and we'll check it out. So that will be fun. And then, of course, the LTK. Um, I'm excited for that. Uh, uh, Kevin was telling me that I really needed to check this out because he thought this was a KC knife. Lefty EDC was, was telling me that. And you know what, Kevin? You are absolutely correct. This is pretty phenomenal. So, uh, And then, of course, the third one is the pyrite which i am this is uh most likely guys this is going to be my favorite button lock so far i have a feeling um for any price again i've got the titanium one coming in uh i'm excited about that but this uh the blade shape you've got that consistent little rising belly you've got nice thin thin flat grind uh, and yet you've still got enough weight in that blade to bring it down uh, nice and smooth. I mean, this is phenomenal. Uh, Artisan CGRB, they are killing it uh, on these. And I am very excited for that because I've said for a long time that they have the ability to make some very phenomenal knives. And, and there you go. So I'm going to clean this mess up. There's the three knives that just came in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I'm going to have another unboxing coming because I got more stuff coming in tomorrow. And then um, I've got uh, some stuff coming up. Uh, so I'm trying to get a bunch of knives in, get a bunch of videos in the can because uh, I've got to go out of town uh, for business. And uh, I have to... Um, well, if I can get the words out of my mouth, I have to go to town for business and I have to um, to get your microbursts ready when they come in. I uh, still haven't, haven't shipped quite yet, but they should ship any time now uh, when I'm recording this video. And, uh, you know, we should, we should see those very soon. So I'm trying to kind of get a big stock of videos ahead uh, so that I'm just done and uh, I can deal with all this other stuff. So there you go, guys. Let me know what you think of these three beauties. Give me a thumbs up. By the way, thank you, Rusty. Thank you, White Mountain Knives. And thank you, Artisan Cutlery. Uh, you guys are awesome. Rusty, you're just, you're the best, man. And I, I'm glad you're healing up. Really been thinking about you and praying for you a lot. And I am so glad you're doing better. I uh, hope it stays that way. And guys, uh, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscription button, the notification bell, uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that stuff. And I thank you so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.